So guys, if you want your setup to go from this to this for only $400, keep watching because I'm going to show you all the stuff I use for a really cheap price. So guys, for the monitor, I am using a 24 inch Titan Army monitor. Shout out to them. They actually sent it over, which was pretty cool. It is 24 inches, one millisecond response time, but it is only 100 hertz. So you can't really use 120 hertz full capability on the Xbox. It, as you can see, it does not have display port, which is a big minus for me it only has hdmi and a vga it's pretty thin as you can see so if you like thinner monitors this is definitely a good choice for you it's pretty cool i like the tie army logo it looks pretty cool and it is only a hundred dollar guys so i do recommend picking it up it's pretty cheap for a hundred hertz monitor all right guys so for the console we are obviously going to pick up a xbox series s you could pick these up pretty cheap right now on ebay for like 200 dollars. i'll put a little picture up here um they are going to be used so if you want to risk it it's up to you i found mines to be pretty in good condition it was not really damaged or anything 200 dollars for 120 fps on fortnite you can't really beat that in today's market so yeah i definitely recommend picking up an xbox series s and for the keyboard we are going to pick up an rk61 this is a really good budget mechanical keyboard i got blue switches on mine it just came out a little cheaper it was about 34 dollars you could sometimes you could find them even cheaper on sale but yeah this is a really good keyboard for if you're beginning out it's a 60 percent, so it's pretty good it's all white so it'll go with your setup for the mouse i did pick up a hyper x pulse fire haste this is a really good budget mouse it's 35 dollars. it's a little bit pricier but i would rather spend a little bit more than get something cheaper and less quality this is like super light it is wired you can't really find a wireless mouse like under 80 dollars i would say but this is a good mouse um if you're beginning out it's super light and super comfortable on your hand and yeah i definitely recommend it it's it's a definitely a good mouse to start off with for the mouse pad i did pick this up on aliexpress for like 15 bucks it, it is going to take a little longer to ship but if you're willing to if you're willing to wait a little long for a mouse pad you could see the mouse pad doesn't really matter if you find a good cheap mouse pad that you like just go for it I just like the color the pattern on this one it's blue too it is a xl so it could fit my keyboard and mouse on my desk so guys for the headset i decided to pick up a eske 900 it was 35 dollars, so we're still in our budget and this headset's pretty good it's it's not the best quality i would say i would say if you do have a little bit more money you are working with i definitely pick up like a razor or a steel series headset um but this headset is pretty good for the money i mean you can't really beat it for 35 dollars. it's comfortable they lasted pretty long i've been having these for a minute though so guys i put the setup together and it, honestly it came out pretty nice it's a nice simple setup nothing too flashy about it if you do want the setup to maybe look a little nicer i would recommend adding some leds maybe some plants maybe like some extra accessories on the desk to make it look nicer definitely pick up a mouse button because it is wired but honestly it came out pretty nice so guys i just loaded up fortnite and i am going to be doing some gameplay some pov gameplay because i really didn't want to connect my um pc because it would have been like a whole mess and you guys already know how the xbox series s performs um 120 fps so yeah guys, stay tuned for the gameplay one last thing guys don't forget to use code z cosmo in the item shop and enjoy the rest of the video